and then I'll kick it. Next thing we're going to do is um, some focus pad training. Some uh, you're not going to be able to strike without working, you know, with someone. Um, this is Albert Malatanban. He's he holds mitts for me when I'm getting ready for fights, and uh, he's going to kind of go over our mitt drill with you. The mitt combinations that I have are different positionings of the mitt. Each positioning of the mitt means a certain combination or different types of combinations. The first one I'm going to cover is the double jab. What I'll do is I'll get the focus mitt and I'll put it directly next to my face, which means double jab. Again. What this does, it helps him uh, close the gap between him and opponent. It helps his timing and helps his distance also. Again. The next one is jab cross or basic one two. What I'll do is I'll hold the focus bits in front of my face and he'll hit me with a left jab and a right cross. Again. The next position of the mitt is I'll have my left mitt facing to the right, my right mitt facing towards my opponent. What he's going to do is he's going to strike jab cross, left hook, right cross. Finish with a strong right hand. Again. The next combination is to use a, du is to use a double jab and a right uppercut combination. We're also going to add two more punches, a left hook and also a right cross. So we'll start with a double jab. Dip and do the right uppercut, the left hook, and the right cross. This helps you learn to punch in combinations instead of throwing just one punch at a time. Now the next one's what I call my long one. It's going to add various punches, almost every punch that uh, you normally throw. It's going to start, of course, with a jab cross, left uppercut. Right hand, left hook, finish with a strong right hand. Again, I have my right mitt facing my partner, my left mitt facing down for an uppercut. We can also use the mitts to throw body punches. Normally throw a body punch, Chuck likes throwing hard, strong body punches to the, to the kidneys. The way we do that is I'll focus, put my back, uh, my left hand where my kidneys are at. What he'll do is he'll dip straight down and throw a right hook to the body. Finish with the left hook to the body and right hook to the head. Again. Notice how Chuck dips down. He uses my elbow as a gauge to get underneath his supposed opponent's hands. So if he wants to dip underneath it, he uses it as a gauge to get underneath. Those are used for body punches. One more time. Okay, now we can also use hands and feet when we do these combinations. The same type of combinations we'll use the feet. Now, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to show him the double jab. He'll throw the double jab. He'll throw a right round kick to my thigh. Of course, when you hold these mitts, depending on how much pain you can take, you really want to try to leg take or focus uh, shin pad yourself again. Now this jab cross, the one two, he'll throw a skip kick. He's trying to strike the inside part of my thigh. The next one of course, again, is the jab cross, left hook, right cross combination, which he's gonna finish with a strong right hand. Now when throwing this combination at your, at your actual opponent, that second right hand is not going to be as intense as the first right hand. It's going to be what we call a weak right hand. So again, it's just a lead into that right round kick. It's to keep your opponent's face, uh, his eyeballs on that. And he'll watch that instead of, instead of the leg. Hit him with the right round kick. time. Now we, we also kick to the head from time to time, not always taking legs up. From time to time you can open up your opponent by using these hand combinations. For example, we'll use the double jab, the right uppercut, left hook, right hand, and there he'll throw a skip kick up to my head. That should land about somewhere around here again. Good speed.
can also modify these. You can also modify these by adding a knee. What he'll do after he throws a skip kick, he'll come back in with his left knee, holding the knee in, off that same combination again. Again. You can also lead with the kicks. You can also lead kicks and end with the hands, which is also good. A lot of people have a lot of problem of just throwing a kick and not counting back with anything else. But again, like Chuck talked about before, you give your opponent time to counter. What he's gonna do is he's gonna throw a right round kick with a left hook and a right hand. This is to ensure that the, not only does the kick take effect, but as he tries to counter, he already has his counter table counter. Again. Also use a skip kick for the same thing. Great. Yeah. One more time. He can, we can also use the focus mitts to practice counters. Okay? In other words, I'm gonna take a swing with him. He has the option either to weave out of the way or block, which he prefers to block. Man. He's gonna counter with that hook, right hand. This is gonna get you in the habit of, as soon as you get hit, you're gonna hit right back. Yeah. Same thing goes the other way. If I hit him here, he's gonna come back, right hand, left hook, right hand. Okay. You can also do this off the leg check. Leg checks are very important, so you don't have to gonna count it the same way. With this leg, the same way. Okay, another uh, another tool that we use, that Chuck and I like to use uh, to help his hands and feet, mostly his feet, is the Muay Thai pads. The Muay Thai pads are very important because it helps move around and helps him gauge his distance and timing while we're while we're kicking. We normally don't stand in one spot when we do this drill. We normally are moving around just as he would move in the ring. Now he gets to gauge how what he has to do to get that kick in. Different positioning of the mitt, first of all, you want to make sure you hold them firmly in your hands to take a body shot right up against your body. Breathe out also. To hit for the right leg, just turn your body to the left. Also for leg kicks, what you want to do is hold it down up against your thigh, nice and relaxed. Also here. Typical drill would go like this. We can also practice counters off this drill. What I'll do is I'll use the focus mitts just like I would use clothes. The first one we're gonna use is just a basic parry, and then he's gonna skip kick to the inside of the thigh. Here. There's also a double parry, okay? Parry, parry, and the right long kick to the leg, again. Parry, parry. There's also parry, parry, right hand, and skip kick into the body. Again, parry, parry, right hand, 